Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this tutorial we are going to see image segmentation using Python. Image segmentation is a fundamental task in computer vision that involves partitioning an image into multiple segments or regions. It plays a crucial role in various applications such as object detection, image recognition, medical imaging, and more. In this tutorial we will explore different techniques for image segmentation in Python, focusing on simple thresholding methods like threshold binary, binary inversion, trunk, tau0, and tau0 inversion. Additionally, we will delve into adaptive thresholding and Otsu's binarization technique. Our journey begins with simple thresholding techniques. Simple thresholding methods are basic techniques that involve comparing pixel intensities with a predefined threshold value. Depending on the comparison result, pixels are classified as either foreground or background. Simple thresholding is straightforward. For every pixel, the same threshold value is applied. If the pixel value is smaller than the threshold, it is set to 0, otherwise it is set to a maximum value. The function cv.threshold is used to apply the thresholding. We'll start by exploring threshold binary, which classifies pixels based on a predefined threshold value. Pixels above the threshold become white, while those below become black. Next, binary inversion, where the result is inverted compared to threshold binary. This means pixels below the threshold become white, and those above become black. Then truncation, tau0, and tau0 inversion are additional thresholding techniques available in OpenCV. Truncation sets pixels above the threshold to the threshold value, tau0 sets pixels below the threshold to 0, and tau0 inversion does the opposite. Let's see an example of these thresholding techniques.
Now, what if our image has varying lighting conditions? This is where adaptive thresholding comes into play. Instead of using a global threshold value, adaptive thresholding calculates thresholds for small regions of the image, making it suitable for handling images with non-uniform illumination. See the example which compares global thresholding and adaptive thresholding for an image with varying illumination.
Finally, we'll explore Otsu's binarization technique. Otsu's method automatically calculates the optimal threshold value using the image histogram, minimizing the intra-class variance of threshold black and white pixels. In the example next, the input image is a noisy image. In the first case, global thresholding with a value of 127 is applied. In the second case, Otsu's thresholding is applied directly. In the third case, the image is first filtered with a 5 by 5 Gaussian kernel to remove the noise, then Otsu thresholding is applied.
We've covered the basics of image segmentation in Python, from simple thresholding techniques to adaptive thresholding and Otsu's binarization. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in understanding the fundamentals of image segmentation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thank you.